Hello everybody. So today we're going to be doing the hand crank building. So I'm going to tell you what materials you're going to need and step-by-step -step instructions on how to make your very own hand crank. A hand crank or a winch, like the one we'll make today, is a simple machine that changes the direction or amount of force that we put into it. This can make tasks like lifting heavy things easier. For the supplies, you're going to need tape, string, scissors, some kind of cardboard roll. So for me, I'm using toilet paper rolls, or you can also use paper towel rolls, a pencil, and some sort of item that you can lift up with the string of your choice. So I'm using a penny in this case. For this experiment, you're gonna actually want to cut two different size holes at the top of one of your tubes. And this is gonna be where your pencil will lay um, eventually so you can turn the pencil. It's easier to do this step first um, other than taking the whole tube itself. So what I did is you just kind of squish it a little bit in half like this and you make small marks with your scissors. Try and make them as even as possible on both sides. Then they should be pliable enough where you could just tear a small piece off. Then you're gonna wanna do it to another one. See, in this case, I'm using six toilet paper rolls instead of two paper towel rolls. So after making these two, these are gonna be your toppers. This is gonna be on the very top of the tower. So now you want a total of three high. So you place one and then you're gonna place one right on top of it. It's best if you tape the sides of them so they actually stay upright when you're messing with them later. So I just tape both sides. It doesn't have to be perfect by all means. Then you're gonna to wanna to put the topper. Okay, so now you have that tower done and we're gonna work on the second one. Same steps as you did the first time. You're gonna tape them so they stand three high. Okay, now we have two towers almost exactly the same size. Now what we're gonna do is take the pencil and put it right between the little wedges you've already made. And you're gonna wanna put the towers at the very end of each other. So now you see that the pencil is right here and the two towers are right here. If this starts to get a little wobbly, what I found works best is to tape, tape the pillars to the table so that it doesn't move around as much. It still will move around a little bit, but not nearly as much as it just was a second ago. This is where you're gonna wanna tie your string. I'm using regular twine today, but you can use any kind of string. Um, ribbon will work. Any kind of rope that you have lying around the house. What's easiest for this experiment is taking the rope and tying it around the pencil right here. Tie it as tight as I can, move it to the middle, and I'm gonna double knot it. Now it should be secured. Once this is secured, I'm gonna put it back on the tower, make sure the string is in the middle, and put it in the position that I want.
Okay, as you can see, if we start twirling the pencil, the rope now is getting wrapped around the pencil. It's being used as a crank. So what I would do is cut off the rope after you've twisted it about three or four times and make sure when you're cutting it off, it's level with the table. Then you can either tie a bucket to the end of this if you have a toy bucket, but I don't have anything. So I'm gonna use a piece of tape. You take the tape like so, and you fold it on both sides to make sure that it's sticky all the way around. Then you take any side of the tape and you tape it to the end of the string. Now you have something that will grip the bottom of it. Now, as you can see, you can lift down the string to any length that you want. Oh, it was almost there. Attach it to the penny. And you can wheel it back up again. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope I get to see your hand crank designs. Thank you.